Jimmy Johnson held off Kevin Harvick to score his 48th career NASCAR Sprint Cup Series victory in Sunday's Auto Club 500 at Auto Club Speedway. A late race pit stop turned golden for Johnson and crew chief Chad Knaus. They inherited the lead when the number 48 got off pit road right before the race's final caution came out. From there, Johnson was able to lead the final 23 laps and route to his second straight win at the two-mile Auto Club Speedway. Yeah, the, the deal on pit road, I mean, there's no way around it. We got lucky. We were just coming in to do a pit stop, and we're in our pit box, and the caution came out, and uh, we were able to just beat the 31 car off of uh, pit road and and uh, where the scoring you know, line is at the end of pit road. So, um, you know, we certainly got lucky, and, you know, we're running third or I think fourth or fifth at the time, so it's not like we totally backed into this thing, but we got a really nice gift with the way things worked out, and then it was up to me to kind of hang on to it. And Harvick put on a furious charge in the closing laps to try and pass Johnson for the win, but he hit the wall coming off turn four with three laps to go and was forced to hold off his teammate Jeff Burton for second. I was running the top there, and, and Jimmy saw me coming, and, and he just moved up, and, and I got tight and just scrubbed the wall, and it knocked the right front fender, and that was it for me. But uh, just a great day. Uh, we got a speeding penalty early, and you know the car was good enough to, to come back through the field and, and uh, put ourselves back in contention at the end and, and um, just came up one short. So um, good day and a lot of fun today. Harvick's runner-up finish placed him on top in the Spring Cup Series point standings by 19 over his Richard Childress Racing teammate, Clint Boyer. Burton, who led three times for 46 laps, gained seven positions in the standings to fifth after he scored his sixth top five at Auto Club. Well, we um, obviously we, we ran really well the second half of the race. The first half of the race, we struggled a little bit with, with uh, handling, but um, they kept working and making it better and uh, got busted for speeding on pit road and that really turned their day around right there. Um, I don't know why, but we took off after that. Mark Martin finished fourth with Joey Logano fifth for his fourth career top five in 41 Spring Cup starts and Kurt Busch completed the top six finishers. Matt Kenseth, Clint Boyer, Tony Stewart, Greg Biffle and the Red Bull racing teammates of Scott Speed and Brian Vickers rounded out the top 12 finishers. The race was finished with impending rain coming into the area and was in fact slowed once for a passing shower. But despite the ominous clouds bearing down on the track, officials were able to complete the entire 500 mile distance. Be sure to check back with MotorRacingNetwork.com for the latest from Auto Club Speedway and stay with us all week as we count down to next Sunday's Shelby American at Las Vegas Motor Speedway.